Hi, today I'll show you how Track Every Coin works. When, uh, to start with, you would visit trackeverycoin.com. That's, that's the website that you would log on to. Uh, and then uh, this is where you can log in. So to, to get started, you, know, you can order the hardware device here. You can click on Get Techie and then click on Buy Now. So once you've bought the Techie, then what you would do is you could click on Sign Up and uh, give an email address and password. So in this case, I would say contact. So since you're signing up, give a new email, give your email address, and your password, select your currency, and your time zone. And click on accept and sign up. So once you sign up, it will directly take you to the expense page. So once you're uh, once you signed up, your account has been created. Now let's see how to use the hardware. So this is the packaging of a hardware. Um, this is the back of the hardware. It has a little bit of instructions here. So let me just show you how it works. So uh, this, once you open the hardware, this is how it looks like. Uh, it's we've maintained. Uh, the buttons to bare minimum so it has just two buttons on top uh, one is uh, and each button has dual functionality so this is called the power button and the enter button and whereas this one is the back or backspace and the down button to scroll down so to start so once you've bought the hardware all you need to do is first is you have to sync with your software you have to create once you've created an account you have to add the you have to link your hardware with your account. So one, uh, what you will do is, from our help pages, you can download the desktop uploader here. So once you've installed the desktop uploader, this is how the desktop uploader looks like. So when you start the desktop uploader, there is no, all the fields are disabled. So let me go ahead and connect this to the computer. So once I've connected it to the computer, you can see that all these three fields are highlighted. So let's go ahead and add, give a name to your device. I'm going to call it Ion Lab, and then your username and password. So when you do this for the first time, what it does is it will sync, it will your account, it will link your hardware with your account. Let's go ahead and click on synchronize to it. So it says the techie has been initialized. So now you can remove it and sync back again. So if you look at this, I remove it. Everything here is gone. I mean, it's all disabled. And next time when you connect your device back, it remembers it remembers your email address and your device name and you cannot edit it after this you just have to enter your password and synchronize let me quickly show you how how to enter an expense on the device so what you would do is to start with you would power this on you can keep this pressed it powers on it says add expense and overview and you see the cursor blink on add expense. So if you at any time you press the down arrow, it, the cursor goes down. Once it's reached the bottom, it loops back and goes up. So now let's say let's go ahead and add an expense. So I would select it and say enter. Now you can, there are different types of expenditure that you can add. I'm going to go ahead and select a regular expense. So press enter again. So if you set a budget, it shows your balance in the beginning. Now imagine you want to enter 2000 rupees. So what you would do is to increment, you would press the down button to 2. And now to shift it once, you press the enter button. So 2. And now to select 0, press this down button, shift. So it becomes very easy and really fast to enter numbers. Increment and shift. So once you've entered your expense, once you're done with it, you would press enter twice. So that I would press this again once. 
Now it'll ask you for where did you spend it. So you can use the down button to scroll down to different categories. So in, uh, let's say you spend this 2000 rupees on shopping. Click shopping. Done. You're all set. Uh, let me show you another example of an expense. So let's go to add expense. And instead of regular, you can scroll down. There's a shared expense if you want. But let me go ahead and add a reimbursement. So it's a company reimbursement. I'm on a trip somewhere and uh, I've taken a cab to some place. And the cab costed me, let's say, 450 rupees. And where did I? So you can scroll down to different categories. So it was, it was a cab, so I use it for travel. That's it. So now let me show you how this works. So at any uh, one, at any time you can go to overview to see your expenses. If you go to history, see we've just entered shopping 2000. Now let's go ahead and synchronize this with the website. So as soon as you connect your device to the USB. Uh, you could see that your desktop uploader would recognize your uh, email, your device. Now all you need to do is just enter your password and click on synchronize. So once the sync is complete, just refresh your screen once. So there you go. Both the expense that we've added has shown up here. So you can see shopping and you can also see travel. So how do you add description is you would just go ahead, click on description here and enter what was this for. So shopping, I would say shopping at the mall. That's it. And then travel, yes, to airport. It's passing so much. And that's it. So you could also edit an event by uh, edit an extension that you click on it and you click on edit. So that way it shows that see 450 it's already saved it as reimbursement. So the expense which you synced from your uh, from your hardware if you look at the date and time is automatically filled category is also category and amount is also filled. So at your leisure just go ahead and enter your description. Let me also quickly show you how to add an income. So you would just go here click on income Go ahead and add income. Now let's say it was twenty-five thousand and something salary. Right. You can select salary and save it. So if you look at this, it, your and now you just observe your thermometer. So it shows your complete total income, and then this is the net expense that you have spent. So this is a brief overview of track every coin. Thank you.